Hey guys, it's Julia and welcome back to my channel and for today's video, I'm going to be starting like a new series-ish. So basically, I there's so many books I can talk about in my videos and I tend to only talk about the recent ones that I read or like certain favorites specifically, but I wanted to make like a little series where, I don't know what I'm calling it, probably just like books that I love part one, <laughs> um, that just talks about some books that I really love that I don't talk about enough and that I want to talk about more. And so yeah, today I have five books that I love and that mean a lot to me that I'm just going to be talking about today. There's so many more books than this, but these are the five that I grabbed for today. So. Let's get into it. The book that's going to come as no surprise to many of you is The Virgin Suicides by Jeffrey Eugenides. This book means so much to me in the fact that I have read it six times. I have read it at different points in my life. I have experienced this story many times. I've annotated copies. I have five copies of this book and I love it a lot. This book does have a lot of trigger warnings for suicide, depression, PTSD, and I believe there's some more as well, but this book is essentially about the five Lisbon daughters that all commit suicide and it's about these boys that live across the street. They narrate the story for us and tell the story of the Lisbon daughters and what happened to them and their story and it's a really intense book and the writing is incredible and the story is just so sentimental to me at this point that I can't not love it. This one I haven't talked about in so long, but this is Am I Normal Yet by Holly Bourne. Probably one of the most realistic portrayals of mental illness that I've ever read. And this does have trigger warnings for OCD specifically, as well as depression and anxiety, but this book is about a girl named Evie who is just going to school and she has two f two really close friends and they have a little feminist group as well, but we basically follow Evie and her mental health and her in high school and stuff like that. And it's really organized really nicely because it has her like normality or her recovery diary. So it talks about her dosage, how she's feeling, her homework from her therapist, just a lot of things that a lot of people can relate to and that are not seen enough in mental health related books. And it also talks about, you know, relationships um, and things like that and it's a really great book and it talks about like a logical thought and then just read it if you're at all interested in it please check it out it's absolutely amazing this one is kind of weird that i put this on this list but that is clockwork princess by cassandra clare this is the third book in the infernal devices series which you're probably like why are you showing us the third book like we don't care and we've all like you probably have all seen this book before but i haven't talked about the this series in so long but basically it's about it's in the Shadowhunter world and it's about Will and Jem and Tessa and they're, that's such a bad explanation but it's just amazing and I'd highly recommend checking it out. You do have to read like all the other Shadowhunter books before this. You don't have to but you should. Um, but just I remember this third book I had like all the emotions like the, the sad, the mad, the happy like all the emotions and I loved like I love all these characters so much I think this series has one of the best love triangles I've ever seen and this series is what made me believe that love triangles can be done well and yeah I just love it a lot <laughs> here I have Hunger by Roxane Gay. This one means a lot to me as well. It was one of my favorites of last year. It's basically a memoir about Roxane Gay and her her body, her body image. It talks about rape and it talks about a lot of important subject matter and it's just told so well and probably one of the best. This sounds so preachy like I keep saying the best but that's why I'm talking about these because I love them so much and they're my favorite like some of my favorites ever but this is just such a well-written memoir and it offers so much more insight. There's a different kind of perspective to body image that I haven't seen before and it was just really incredible really well written and I respect this author a lot. And last but not least I have Brain on Fire by Susanna Cahalan. This is about a real life story about a girl who goes through psychosis and we follow her, we follow like there's like security camera footage, there's interviews and all of this stuff that has happened to her and other people tell the story for us because she doesn't really remember much of it. But this was absolutely incredible. Again, a mental health related book, um, a very hard book to read, a very difficult story to tell. I couldn't even imagine having to 
write about this after this all happened but it was just written so well and offered so much more insight and made like I, I remember I listened to the audiobook of this one as well and I just remember like being upset so I would leave I think I was at like a, some family function and I got upset and I left the room and I just put this on and I just sat there listening to this so like I remember exactly what I was doing when I was reading this and I just remember how much it meant to me and how I actually felt emotion with this book because if you guys don't know I've never cried from a book before but this book kind of made me tear up so that was an accomplishment <laughs> but yes I do love this book you guys have it those are five books that I personally really love that I don't feel like I talk about enough or that I haven't talked about in a while that I thought I would talk about so if you guys like this video let me know um, or if I should do like a second part I probably will but yeah let me know if you've read any of these books I will talk to you guys all very soon I will see you very soon with a new video and if you enjoyed this give it a thumbs up and subscribe it's very much appreciated all my social medias are down below and yeah so I'll see you super soon bye Alone, they life when no one understands you But don't give up because the music do Because the music